Welp, looks like these rewards are going fast. I better pick up some extra points. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our Patreon members for helping the channel grow. More on that later. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, it's Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. And if you're like me, you've got a few Vegas trips planned in the coming months. And more importantly, if you're also like me, you probably want to save some money while you're going. Needless to say, my first and foremost tip for saving money in Vegas is playing My Vegas. There's no better way to save money than having free stuff before you even get there. I'm sure you guys know that picking your favorite game, whether it be My Vegas slots, My Konami slots, My Vegas blackjack, so on and so forth, is a good way to maximize your daily loyalty points. But did you know that there are five other easy ways to maximize your My Vegas loyalty points that take almost no effort whatsoever. The fourth one's really gonna floor you. Can't wait to show you that one. So, without further ado, here are five ways to get extra My Vegas loyalty points easily. If you're using the MyVegas Slots app or MyVegas.com, then be sure you're logging in on time every day. When you do, at sign-in, you're given a bonus of 400 loyalty points. It doesn't sound like much here, but if you're consistent throughout the month, that's an extra 12,000 loyalty points that you get for free, without ever needing to spin. It's a good way to start the list. Another way that's often forgot about is the buildings on the My Vegas Facebook version of the game. If you play through the game long enough, you actually end up getting little pieces of famous Las Vegas Strip landmarks. These include the Aria, Mandalay Bay, and of course, Bellagio. And for the most part, collecting them results in chips. But what a lot of players don't know is you can also earn loyalty points for these, usually ranging between 50 and 500 LPs depending on the building. There are even some special buildings like the Sassy Lassie that you can only get by completing certain events, and some of these give loyalty points exclusively that can be collected every hour, significantly buffing your chance of getting more loyalty points. You can easily pick up 1 to 2,000 per day without playing, meaning you could pick up some 30 odd thousand free loyalty points with minimal effort. This is one I forget about a lot, but getting gifts from friends in My Vegas is critical. Not only do they bless you with a bounty of chips, but you also end up with another 5 loyalty points every time on average. If I recall correctly, you can only collect this from about 20 friends, leaving you with 100 loyalty points for the least benefit. But on the bright side, if you end up with the extra 100 loyalty points a day, you end up with 3,000 for the duration of the month. Okay, this is a weird one. For those of you who don't know, Pop Slots is basically My Vegas Slots with a World of Warcraft skin on it. Meaning it's like a role-playing game, but in a casino. But that matters very little so long as you do this. Make sure you log in every Tuesday. Why? Because you get a 3,000 loyalty point bonus every week. That totals out to be about 12,000 loyalty points a month. Not half bad, really. And finally, an oldie but goodie, making sure that you watch commercials. So you guys know how My Vegas Blackjack, and to a lesser extent My Vegas Bingo, have a chip bonus every two hours, right? Well, obviously you want to collect those to get chips, but if you wait another few seconds, what'll come up is a play button. This allows you to watch an ad, and depending on which game you're going with, you're either going to get a few diamonds and chips for that ad, or if you're playing My Vegas Blackjack, you're certainly going to get 15 loyalty points. I do believe you can do it up to 10 times in a row in a day, leaving you with an extra 150 loyalty points, and if you're lucky with My Vegas Bingo, you'll snag another 50 loyalty points just for participating. Between the two games, it's an easy 200 extra loyalty points a day, and that brings your total up another 6,000 on top of whatever you earn playing. And those are all some basic ideas to get extra loyalty points to get you through the daily grind of My Vegas. I know it's just a little bit, but a little bit tends to go a long way down the road, and hopefully that road is straight to Vegas.
All right, spinners and sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tutorial or found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a moment to shout out our patrons. Guys, it means the world to me that you choose to support me in this way and help keep Ace of Vegas independent of the YouTube algorithm. As you know, my content isn't always censor and advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you want a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, I'll leave a link to the Patreon in the description box down below. So what do you think of these hidden sources of my Vegas loyalty points? Did you know about them all, or are there even more that I didn't mention in this video? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spending you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva, Viva Ace of Vegas.